right, everyone, I am here with Ricky and Erica from Camino Tellers, and they are going to play 20 Camino questions. Are you guys ready? Ready, 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 born ready, born ready. Okay, which route did you just walk? French. And how would you describe it? Was it busy? Was it the same as the last time you walked it? What would you tell everyone? It wasn't busy. Every time is different. Very good answer. All right, what's your favorite drink when you're walking the Camino? Water. And zero, zero to beer. No cafe con leche? <laughs> Cappuccino. Cappuccino, yeah. very no, zero, good. Zero, zero beer, toast, toast. No, 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 cappuccino. Roasted one. Okay, number five, it. what's your favorite food? Ooh, sushi. <laughs> On the Camino? We, we also had We it. had, we had, we had, we had. Yeah, we tortilla. Tortilla and sushi. sushi. Tortilla and sushi, okay. All right, now, are you guys early risers or you do sleep in a little bit? Early risers. Early seven o'clock risers. <laughs> you, 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 you judge it's it. Relative, it's relative, no, or... it's relative. And do you just have a, a quick cappuccino in the morning or do you have a pilgrim second breakfast? Cappuccino is not quick. You have to take your time. If there's no coffee, there's no conversation. So first we do coffee and then we start to start the day. All right. Are there any kinds of social influencers, things going on that you guys are watching that you're inspired by? Because, you know, lots of people are watching Camino Tellers. Uh, uh, not re uh, relating Camino. Not relating to Camino, though. Not relating to Camino. We, we do other relating to other things. Other things. Other yeah. influencer. Okay, number nine. Is there an app or uh, a book that's a favorite of yours for the Camino? Definitely. The journey within from Camino Teles uh, as a journal for, uh, for Camino de Santiago. Excellent. That's a great book. We were just looking at it. Okay, number 10, do you book ahead or you just take it all by chance? We take it by chance, but only when we have to, when we want day off or rest day, we book a single room. Ah, that's a good advice. All right. And three tips for people who have never walked the Camino. Come. Um, Come. Speak to people. Come. <laughs> and come. So just come and walk. Is that what you're come saying there, and, Ricky? Come and just be, just give yourself a chance. Be open. Be open. Go, go against your fears. Excellent. The, the Camino is ready there for you. It's, it's ready for everyone. And it's a beautiful place when, when you can find yourself or lose yourself and maybe even find yourself. But surely lose yourself internally. Not if you don't plan, if, yeah. don't plan, so, so you it, can lose yourself to find but yourself. But that all happens only if you come. So <laughs> What's come. one thing in your backpack that you always bring with you? Don't say again the journal, eh? <laughs> of course the journal of Camino de Santiago. For me it's the Kindle, to read books. Ah, good. The Kindle, good it's something that wherever I go, I take with me. Um, and for me it's a musical instrument, because I, I love music, so. All right, so this last walk, you walked for how many days? 52. Because you were filming, right? Doing lives every day. We were actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's not like, we, if we wouldn't work, probably would take longer. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's your favorite Camino route, number 14? I think the French one. French one is good, but also there is, um, we love personally, um, Primitivo, uh, Variante Spiritual, the Camino variante Portuguese. Yeah, there's a few of them, but the French one, it's, it's definitely something special. All right, number 16, what was the first route you ever walked Camino-wise? Portuguese. Pre the Norte. All right, how'd you two meet? Dancing. Dancing. Dancing on the Camino? No, in no. Tenerife, in Canary Island. Yes. It's not so romantic, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's romantic, but not on the Camino. Yeah. All right, I think we're on 17, I don't know. What, what brand shoes do you wear? What brand? Yeah, uh, when you're walking. New Balance. New Balance. New Direct, I was going to say. New uh, Balance. And uh, Nike, but only if they're on promotion. Ah. <laughs> I like Meryl, though. <laughs> all right, if you two were to write a memoir about all your travels on the Camino, what would it be called? They, they live great and had lots of fun. They thought they were having fun, but they didn't know they were making memories. Oh, so big. Okay, I think we're on 19. If you weren't doing this, if you weren't traveling the world and walking, what would you be doing instead? I would sell ice cream because I like to give people um, beautiful moments. I would be a food critic. Okay, 
I think we're way beyond 20 questions, but oh well. Okay, here's the one question I wanted to ask. During these last 52 days when you were doing the live streams, when you're doing all these videos, do you have any really interesting characters or pilgrims that you met along the way that you found super interesting? Uh, yeah, definitely Claude. Claude, 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 Claude on the Portuguese way. Well, we met it on the previous Camino. On the previous, the same year, the same, this, this season of Camino, uh, from Canada, a uh, beautiful soul, wanted to do five months of Camino. The first day he, he had a problem with the knee and he couldn't walk, so he had to spend five months in the Alberg as a hospitalero. Different yeah, Camino. He, he's left on the way to the airport to come for a Camino. Yes. And he injured his knee. So Beautiful. he had to do another type of Camino. And he's no so way. cool and he's so he's fun. He's so funny. Wow, great story. Okay, guys, last question. What's next? What, what? are you going to do after all of this? One month of only swimming. I don't want to walk. Uh -huh. No for walking a month. for a month. Only swimming. And after we're going to go to Japan. We're gonna Japan? Do, we're going to do the Kumano Kodo and the 88 temples of uh, Shikoku pilgrimage. Three months of walking. So wow, so you're going to be able us. to earn that double Compostela. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now, are you going to be bringing videos and content to everyone so we can all yes. live through this plenty, pilgrimage you're going to be on? Plenty, plenty, plenty. We'll show you the different way of pilgrimage. We're going to have a special hat, special kimono, kimono, a special stick, and but it's still Camino vibe. And actually, I don't know if people know, but in nearly every place on the Camino, there is a special stone, which is the... In Galicia, mainly. Uh, in Galicia, which is the commemoration of the Shikoku pilgrimage as... A, as a, uh, together with the um, uh, Camino de Santiago. You find a pole, like a yeah. stone, uh -huh. yeah. with Japanese Sign writing. in every and place. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Did not know that. Well, you guys did it. You survived, I think, maybe 25 Camino questions. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Ricky and Erica from Camino Tellers. You guys won't regret if you check out their page. <laughs> I'm so enjoying their page, but more than anything, look at them. Feel All right, Camino kisses, come on. You know loved, I love the Camino love. Feel loved, feel hugged and they feel, feel a part of the family. La familia. La familia Camino Tellers. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Thank perfecto. you so much. <laughs> Las cosas que necesito en la vida ya están aquí. Las cosas